I'm so excited about this segment. Humanity is always pushing the limits of science and what we know about the universe, and this decade was no exception. As we get ready to close out the year, I wanted to have a throwback interview with a favorite show guest from back in the day. So joining us tonight to talk about some of the biggest physics discoveries and why they're so important is my friend and astrophysicist, Ethan Siegel. By the way, he goes by Starts With a Bang on Twitter, and he does some fantastic writing uh, for Forbes if you want to have a chance to Check it out. Now, in 2012, mm -hmm. you and I were on to Live at 7, and we were talking about the Higgs boson. Help people who maybe aren't familiar with it understand why this was so important for the decade. You know, there are a whole lot of particles out there in the universe. You, you're familiar with like protons, neutrons, electrons, but the protons are made up of even smaller particles, and there are these high energy exotic ones out there that we have to collide particles together at these extreme locations like the Large Hadron Collider to That's find. It. Yes. The Higgs boson, which we finally revealed after literally millions and millions of collisions of protons at these higher energies than we've ever gotten before, that was an amazing thing. But what's most amazing to me is that even with the Higgs boson, even with all the particles we've discovered, we've got mysteries that we cannot solve. We don't know yes, why right. there's dark matter, dark energy in the universe. We don't know why we're made of matter and there isn't that much antimatter out there. So when I think about the Higgs, I think about all that we know, but I also think about that next frontier that's right in right. front of us. Will the Large Hadron Collider find something there, or will we need to build another one, and will we to look even further? So there's that. You can Google God Particle if you're interested in learning more about that. Now we want to go to 2015, the direct detection of gravitational waves. This was big because they're small. We got very good at, at basically listening and looking for this particular uh, type of wave to be able to see it. It's incredible what they do. They took these two laser arms that are four kilometers long. They they created the best vacuum where no air exists That's ever nice. made on Earth in those arms. They bounce them back and forth between a mirror about a thousand times, and then they bring them back together. They can detect a change in distance, which is if you get compression and rarefaction or expansion in opposite directions, that will create that gravitational wave signal to less than one one thousandth the width of a proton. They can detect the ripples from that. This, that was incredible, and now I want to fast forward to 2019 and detecting the event horizon of a black hole. This was incredible, and the picture is still burned into my memory because it was something so challenging to capture. You know, that red donut-like thing, what's most remarkable about that, this amazing image, is that inside it's dark. That is the event horizon. That is the region from within which no light can escape. That's the event horizon of the black hole. That was maybe the biggest prediction to come out of Einstein's general relativity. Right. And more than 100 years after he put that theory out, we're able to see it. This is just the first one. We've got more coming. Ethan Siegel, you guys, if you're on Twitter, you can find him. Starts with a bang. I highly recommend you check it out because he's written an entire summary of these three things. Hopefully, we've just sort of gotten your appetite going. Thank you. My pleasure.